Hey everyone, it's Joe from the Tech Slugs and welcome to episode 3 of 3 in controlling money making devices from anywhere. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about controlling money-making Android devices from anywhere. I have a few methods for you guys to go about doing this. Each method has its ups and downs, in my opinion. Keep in mind with remote access, uh, I talked about all the obvious benefits in episode one. I recommend you watch this series from the beginning if you haven't to get the scoop on all devices. Uh, but it's really based on your own personal needs. Remote access uh, is for us mainly uh, just maintenance on many devices. You know, we're bulk managing devices while we're away from the house. So the first method that I would recommend you use to control money making Android devices from anywhere would be with Mobizen. Now this is actually my current preferred method. So to get Mobizen set up, you have to download their app on the App Store. I'll leave a link in the description to everything that you'll need. Once you download their app, you have to create a MobaZen account. On one MobaZen account, you can have up to seven devices. What I would recommend is you create one account for each kind of device you have. So I have one account for all my Moto uh, e phones, I have one account for all my Moto G's and so forth. That way you shouldn't have a problem with overload because uh, you guys know we have a lot of phones and uh, seven per one account should be should be good. You can have a few accounts, that's all right. Once you do that, you'll go to the PC that you want to use often or a phone actually. You can use MobaZen on a mobile device. I've uh, controlled my Android devices through my main phone just through MobaZen's website. So navigate to mobazen.com and then sign in to that account you created on that Android device from the MobaZen app. Then it's going to ask you to enter a PIN number. When it asks you to enter the two-step PIN number, go ahead and uh, enter that. Uh, on the device just go hit two-step verification enter the number on your PC screen make sure you check do not ask in for this PC we don't want it to ask it you know when we're somewhere off and we can't actually go enter it on the phone because we don't have remote access yet it's asking for verification once you do that the screen should appear and you should be able to control it on the side now this is only going to work for um, supported devices or rooted devices and if the device isn't supported or rooted then you're going to have to have to use something called booster mode this really isn't a problem I do have a couple of devices that aren't rooted and uh, basically the only downfall of booster mode is that you're going to have to re-enable the uh, screen controlling uh, from the PC every time you reboot that Android device, but this isn't a problem for for me currently So basically how booster mode is going to work is you have to keep your phone plugged in while you're connecting uh, And if it doesn't work the first time just fiddle with it like sign out from the PC and sign back in again while the phone is actually connected and then um, It should work sooner or later just by doing this and then that screen's finally going to appear the next method for remote access that I can recommend is using AirDroid. Uh, now this is kind of an iffy method. It's nice because it definitely resembles the conventional VNC I showed with iOS. However, the drawback when using AirDroid is that it only allows two devices on one free account. And basically how AirDroid will work is you go to their website and you download the software to the PC and then you also download their um, Android app and uh, you will make an account, sign in to that account on both the PC and Android device and then you can mirror the device. Another drawback with AirDroid is that you can only mirror a device without connecting it to a computer uh, whenever it is rooted. So if the device is rooted, you can connect to it without having it always be connected to the PC. But if you want to mirror device and control it, mirroring means con uh, controlling in this case, and it's not rooted, then you're going to have to have it connected to a PC at all times. And I don't want to do that. So combine that with the downfall of having only two devices on one free account. And also keep in mind, if you pay for an account... Uh, which is $2 a month and I think about $20 a year if you pay on a yearly basis, then uh, it's it's only six devices. And that's not even good enough for us guys who have bulk Androids like myself. The next option that I'd like to share with you guys is TeamViewer Host. A little bit similar to AirDroid, a little bit not. 
uh, Team Viewer host. Uh, we we actually talked about something Team Viewer related in the first episode, controlling money making computers. Team Viewer offers a remote control client for um, desktops, so you install Team Viewer on the desktop, install Team Viewer on a mobile device or another PC, and you can control that desktop. Now, Team Viewer host allows unattended remote access for Android devices. Pretty sweet. So you install Team Viewer host, you sign into your Team Viewer account, you go to a PC, and you can actually remote control your Android device. Now, I did actually try remote controlling uh, my Android from my main phone, and for some reason, TeamViewer, uh, whenever I get on my uh, PC, will let me control my Android device. If I get on the TeamViewer app for iOS, I can't control the Android device, so it's only like PC to Android. I can't go main phone to... Uh, main phone to Android, so that's kind of a downside of it. Another downside is you can't actually use the see the screen and control it feature if your device is not rooted. I tried it on uh, both kinds of devices, a rooted device and a non-rooted device, and I wasn't allowed to use the actual um, remote control feature without root access. The last option is a conventional VNC server. This would be my choice of the day if it could be, uh, because it would be just like the iOS device using the VNC, V-E-E-N-C software. Uh, it, would, it would be the same protocol, uh, same procedure, basically only a different VNC server application, obviously, because VNC is not for Android. However, I cannot find a good VNC server application for Android, uh, really. I mean, for iOS, we had VNC, and for Android, there's really not a whole lot. Uh, I did see a few apps when I typed in VNC server, and I really dug deep for this. I searched a couple hours, and uh, all of the VNC servers, I think I tried about three uh, that I could find, and that's, that's all I could find. They weren't really developed, uh, and we had problems, like whenever I would try to reboot the device, the VNC server wouldn't start, or sometimes it would start, sometimes it wouldn't. Uh, the one VNC server application uh, had a bug where when you connected, you couldn't see the screen. You know, using my camera, I can get around it, but it's just so inconvenient to have to do this. Uh, and then the one just, you know, it was really slow, really laggy, and just froze on me sometimes. Uh, so there's that's that's one of your options, and hopefully in the future I can maybe uh, show you guys a good VNC server for Android devices that uh, that I'd like, and and I would like it. I mean, if it works well and it's not glitchy like a lot of these, then um, then I I'd, I'd definitely be interested because it's the same kind of thing that we did with the iOS devices. All right, so I showed you guys four ways to control your money-making Android devices from anywhere. If you want more information on these steps and details and getting each one set up, you can pick whichever one you want. Like I said, MobaZen is my favorite. Uh, it's simple, and it, it gets done what I need to get done, you know, bulk management of several Android devices, maintenance while I'm away from the house. Uh, but you can pick whatever one you want. If you want more details on each of the setups, then you can go check out the web article in the description. Oh, guys, if you have not seen, this season is growing season. I am definitely purchasing and buying more devices. If you would be interested in seeing exactly what I am purchasing for more money-making power, then you can follow me on my social media. Um, I'll have those links in the description if you'd be interested. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys later and have fun making money.